Hi guys, welcome to Techie DIY. I'm Nigel and in this video I'm going to look at the FTLL smartphone bike mount. I've been using this with my phone and the Map My Ride app and it works great for keeping track of my cycling activity. You can also use it to turn your phone into a bike mounted sat nav with an app like Google Maps. And of course the other thing you can do with it is to find Pokemon. The bike mount consists of two parts. The first is an adjustable claw that clamps around the handlebars or any other tubular section of the bike. The jaw opens to one and a quarter inches or just over three centimeters. The second part is a mounting plate for the smartphone and the two parts simply click together. The lockable ball joint allows you to adjust the angle and position of the mounting bracket. It's very simple. You just slacken off the nut by turning it anti-clockwise, set the bracket to the desired angle and then tighten the nut again. To install a phone in the bracket, simply pull apart the sprung sides, clamp the phone in position and then pull the silicon bands over the corners. Just to show you how good the grip on the phone is, I'm going to give it a shake and even without the silicon bands holding the corners, the phone doesn't move. The mount has been able to securely hold all of the phones that I've tried, which includes a Samsung A3, an iPhone 5C with and without an Otterbox case, and a 5 inch Moto G. Installing the mount on the bike is very quick and easy, and once it's on there, it feels very solid. Likewise, putting the phone into the mount. Initially, I had difficulty getting the bands to grip, but once you've stretched them a couple of times, they work really well. So overall I'm very happy with the smartphone bike mount, it has good build quality, it grips the phone really well and it's quick to install and remove. If you would like more information then check out the video description where I have included the links for the product and you can also click the i symbol in the top right hand corner of the screen to access the links from my website. If you found this video useful then please remember to like it and if you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future please subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.